everyone. Hello, everyone. So, <laughs> and I said it twice because for some reason I didn't feel like you guys heard me. So, hello, guys. I am feeling a beat. I'm feeling beautiful. And I am feeling like a lot of you are feeling the same way. I mean, the energy has completely shifted. Like, I feel like something amazing is about to happen, okay? Now, I wanted to point this out to you guys because this is a general life focus and general love focus for all 12 signs. This is a daily general career and love and life focus for all 12 signs. And dear love, it is so much amazing energy here. So let me get started, okay? Now, for starters, I feel like some of you are finding a new way to build trustworthy relationships. I see the trust card here when it comes to love. So I feel like you are, a lot of us are working on that trust. Building trustworthy relationships. Building trustworthy relationships in our workplace, okay? Some of us are or may be experiencing some type of challenge when it comes to our finances and career, okay? Now, in, for you to be dealing with finances and career in your love life, this is basically saying that some of us need to have these conversations I feel like money has become an issue, okay? So, and not in a bad way, but I just feel like it kind of, it was something that just kind of quickly started up, something that quickly calmed down, um, or there may be, maybe you and your spouse are deciding to make better decisions when it comes to your money, maybe you guys are deciding to start up a new credit line, maybe work on an IRA. I just see some changes here when it comes to you and your spouse and finances. So financials are a factor, financial issues are a factor in some of our love lives right now, okay? Now, moving ahead, when it comes to finances, okay, I do see an inflow of abundance. So that's really exciting. That is really good because anytime the Ace of Earth come out and the Ace of Air come out, like this is some really powerful stuff. Like, we can really, I feel like some of us are having these epiphanies, you know, especially with this full moon energy here. It's like a lot of us are dreaming, we're, ha you know, having different visions popping up, we're thinking more clearly. We are having these little weird thoughts that just keep coming to us. And I feel like some of us are actually taking those ideas and running with it, like we're doing something about it. So good for you, for those of you, and I feel like this is for my air signs especially. I see that you guys are making a transition when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your home, when it comes to your money, when it comes to your career life. Like a lot of you are making these decisions. Even for my earth signs, I see good stuff here. I mean, it's a cards here for everybody, okay? This is earth energy here. This is my Taurus, my Virgo, my Capricorns. And this Ace of Air represents my Libras, my Aquarius, and my Geminis. So good luck with everything, dear love, because I do see a lot of prosperity here. I see a lot of abundance here. And so it tells me that this is going to be one of those days where we are making a shift. We are making a change. We are doing something about it. Things that we just kind of sat around for for a while, we are saying, nope. It's time to get up. It's time to go do that job search. It's time to send in that application. It's time to get my fingerprints done. It's time to start fasting. It's time to, you know, I don't know, get baptized. Whatever it is. I just feel like, <laughs> yeah, because I see religious views here too. And so, I feel like this is going to be a big spiritual week for a lot of us, right? Like, this is just going to be one of those weeks and one of those days where we're just going to be waking up with this newfound energy okay and i mean when i say newfound energy i'm talking about the kind of energy that says you know what i deserve better i want better so i'm going to get better right or i want more money i'm tired of complaining about it it's time for me to make moves so i can get money or i'm tired of complaining about you i want someone better in my life and i'm moving on it was good while it lasted but 
sorry, I have to go. And the reason why I'm saying that when it comes to love is because a lot of you guys got separation. Oh, yeah. So, and it's ironic because it was right next to a fire card. And I'm not, I want to say, well, all of you fire signs are like deal with things in a pretty fast way. So, it's, but I feel like this is Sagittarius. But this can also be an Aries or a, um, this can either be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. But when I did Leo Love Focus, it didn't talk about really separating. So maybe this could be for Aries and Sagittarius. So I feel like some of you are making some changes, okay? Some of you are making this transition because I see delays are over, honey. Many things is happening at once and it's like a lot is moving so fast. It's like some of you are saying, what's happening? Like, this is not how I like to live my life. This is not how I want to be. I want things to be stable. I want things to be fun. I want things to be exciting. You know, I feel like some of us are looking for this change in our marriages. We're looking for this change in our relationships. And and if you even if you are single, I feel like you are still ready to, like, put out this ball of energy that says, I'm available, but... I'm not done focus on, focusing on myself yet. So, I am ready for you, but just not yet. Just be patient. And I feel like those of you that are afraid of pursuing something with a person, I feel like that's going to change with over the next week or so. Like, your thoughts and ideas of this person is going to completely change. Like, I see a lot of us making some changes in love this week, but this particular day is going to have you questioning a lot because like i said we are really getting into that groove of that new pisces full moon energy and it is preparing us to make some changes so i see a lot of you having dreams and visions about your love life a lot of you are thinking about what you want because i see the ten of water here too and this represents water's energy this is the ten of water so i want to say that this is pisces because it says your emotional material needs are met. So Pisces, they are a very emotional sign, but they are also very sensitive and they love to love. And so with this coming out, and I wasn't even talking about love at that moment, is it's telling me that this energy is affecting a lot of us today. In this week, not even just today, but just this week in general, a lot of us are going to be receiving, you know, pay attention to your emails, pay attention to those phone calls, those text messages. Um, if you have people that's around you that's maybe gossiping, I feel like, especially for my earth signs, I feel like you're getting quite annoyed about this. I feel like you are saying enough with the gossip, like, um, and I feel like you are getting annoyed with an air sign. Okay, so this is, could be a Gemini, a Aquarius, or a Libra, but I don't see Libras really gossiping that much. However, I do see that this could be a Gemini or Aquarius. So, but I do see that these Earth, whoever you are, whether you're a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, I feel that you will begin to be very frustrated with this person. This may be at work because this also represents wealth. So I feel like this can also be at work. I don't think this is a love issue. I feel like this is a work thing. Like, um, and if it's not at work, um, then this may just be maybe amongst your friends or uh, people that you know, okay? So this is definitely an earth sign really being annoyed with the gossiping or maybe like the he say, she say or the back and forth um, coming from an air sign. Dear love, those of you that are air signs, earth signs do not like that. Like, they don't mind talking to you and listening and maybe giving you feedback, but they really hate gossip. Like, that is just not their thing, okay? So, um, the next thing is this, is that I see a lot of us learning to let go of control issues, okay? And I'm saying a lot of us because I still struggle with that too, dear love. Like, I'm not perfect. And you know me, I'm an open book, right? So I do see a lot of us letting go of control issues, okay? Um, allowing these things to naturally unfold, saying, you know what? You're right, universe. This is the best way to manifest. 
If I want to be happy and if I want this relationship to work, then I have to learn to let go and let God, okay? Or I need to trust that the spirit loves me, that the universe loves me, that the universe is watching over me, that I am extremely lovable. I feel like that is the energy that is happening this week, is letting go of control issues, okay? Definitely, let go of those control issues, especially when it comes to your home and when it comes to your spouse or maybe even dating someone. I feel like a lot of us need to give someone a chance. I feel like we kind of just got caught up in this mercury energy and a lot of us were confused. We were trying not to go on dates. We were, we were like basically trying to run away from love. And I feel like a lot of us were trying to separate without realizing that during a mercury retrograde, that's like the worst thing you want to do. Like you don't want to buy anything too expensive. You don't want to say the wrong thing because somebody can misinterpret it as drama so you don't want to slip up and say the wrong thing but then you don't want to hurt someone's feelings but then you also don't want to proceed in a relationship where you're completely unhappy but however you don't also want to lose out on someone special because of your many insecurities or things that you may be going through so i feel like for a lot of us we have someone new into our world but I want to say for my air signs, though, you got to loosen up a little bit, dear love. Be, and I just heard that for some reason. Like, I feel like I keep hearing Gemini. And I feel like for, and I keep saying Gemini and Aquarius, actually, a lot of you been running from love. You're like, well, I'm not with the person who I want to be with, so I'm not sure if this person is right for me or I'm not sure if I should even do this. I just want to kind of stay focused on me and my family and my children. But you don't even realize that this is who you're supposed to be with. So is this an interesting type of energy, though? Hmm. And so, like I said, though, I feel like, and, and it may, and I'm not going to say that my fire signs are the only ones that are separating. Because I'm sure, you know, that a lot of air signs are running away from some things, too, that they are separating as well. Because, like I said, I do see separation here. So, and this doesn't always have to mean, like, a literal separation. This can mean you're sleeping in a room, I'm sleeping in a living room. Or, while you're here, since, you, since you're here during the day, I'm going to take a day job because I don't want to be home with you. Or I'm going to go to school during the day just so I don't have to be around you. You know, I don't feel like this is just a complete separation totally. But for some of us, it might be. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. But remember, dear love, this situation is calling for us to have faith. It's calling for us to trust our intuition. Some of us, though, some of us are reflecting. Okay? Now, I talked a lot about this in this Pisces full moon energy um, last night, I talked a lot about this. This energy here is strong. A lot of us are wanting or may have reached out to an ex or may have had visions or thoughts or dreams about someone from their past. If it's not an ex-lover, it's definitely a sibling or a family member or someone from your childhood because I see childhood experiences as well. So this could be from our childhood. This can be something from our past. Someone who know us inside our inside out. This can be, um, and if you're not reaching out to this person, I feel like you may be just simply dreaming or thinking about someone who may have moved on. Someone who, um, who may have passed along. Um, I feel like a lot of, because I've been seeing a lot of deaths and a lot of births and a lot of disagreements. And so I know that this Mercury retrograde has affected so many people in so many ways. And for a lot of you, dear love, I feel like you are missing something. You are, I feel like you feel like something, a part of you is missing. You are missing someone or you're missing um, someone who may have just recently moved on. And this energy is just so strong because this is all about memories. But dear love, this is what you can do to help you through that is just think about, think about all the good, okay? Think about the relationship you have with this person, the good times that you have with this person. So even if you feel like someone is trying to divorce you or someone is separating from you, just you know, just to try to make yourself feel a little better. Just try to think about all the positivity that come with it. 
Like, maybe it's a good thing that this is coming to an end because now you can move along and be happy. But I just feel like just kind of think about the good times, you know? Think about what you guys used to have, what you used to share. Don't get stuck there, but just say, you know what? It was good while it lasted. I'm glad that I, I had this amazing experience with this person. They taught me a lot. They shown me a lot. And for that, I'm grateful, okay? So it's really just saying, even though I feel emotionally disconnected, even though I feel sad, I'm, I'm no longer going to allow myself to feel that way. I want to feel beautiful. I want to feel complete. And that reminds me of a song of mine that I wrote. And... <laughs> I just wanted to say that line to you guys because it's so beautiful. Um, it goes, My life is incomplete without you. Like, that part right there just makes me so happy. And the reason why that makes me happy is because I feel like that line alone, my life is complete without you, that are some things that a lot of us are going to be saying this week. It can be to spirit, to God, to the universe. This can be to a spouse. This can be to our children. This can be to our education. This can be towards our career. This can be our love life. Whatever it is, just let the, whatever it is, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, we are called, dear love, to have compassion instead of judgment, focusing on love instead of hate, okay? This is so much positive energy here that is literally saying, don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Because being vulnerable this week is going to guarantee you that everlasting love. Okay? So let that be known. My life is incomplete without you. In order for me to proceed, I do need you. I do love you. I do need you to stay. I do want you here. I would like us to continue to work. I would love to marry you, right? Or I do want us to separate, but I want to remain your friend, right? Like, I just feel like it's all about choosing compassion over everything, no matter what transpires. And so I love that the universe allowed me to share that with you because it touched me just now in so many ways, right? Now, for a lot of you, with that being said, that my life is incomplete without you right some of you will be doing that remember i talked about this and some of you love focus i talked about proposing and getting engaged and getting married and some of us reconciliating ah i just feel it dear love i feel it very strongly by the end of this week we can be like on this verge of receiving something new okay something exciting something that we've been waiting for Okay, I see celebration here of some sort. So this can either be within your career, this could be in your love life. This can be a wedding, a graduation. Some of us have just recently went to weddings or maybe went out to a social event, right? But this can also be a birth announcement, okay? Yes, some of you will be finding out that you're pregnant this week or by next week. So this is interesting, you know, but I just also see that there's just a need to have more fun. And I just heard Scorpios, Scorpios, are you out having fun? Are you doing what you're supposed to be doing? Are you speaking your truth and being happy? Are you telling the world what you need? Are you projecting that positivity into the universe? Because dear love, you know, and not to single you out, Scorpio, I know you hate that. But I just wanted to say it to you. I just, I just heard Scorpio when I seen this because this is a water card. But I could have said Cancer or Pisces. But the word that just came to me was Scorpio. Some of you need to go out and have more fun. Whether it's with your career, your spouse, your home. You know, redecorate. Change your outfit. You know, color your hair. Do something that you just never done. Or do something you haven't done in a while, right? Go rock climbing. Go um, swimming before summer ends, right? Like, do something that you really love. Like, tap into your passion, and I want to actually encourage all of us to do that, is to get out and have some fun, okay? Start planning those trips. Plan that honeymoon. Start to plan that anniversary trip, right? Like, go out and have some more fun, dear love, because right here I see balance. We definitely can use a lot of balance. 
And so I want to say that's probably why we got the Ace of here as well also right here because, again, this can represent Libra as well. And so Libra is the sign that represents balance. So they may not always be the best at making decisions, but when it comes to that balance, you guys supersede everyone's expectations. So we need some of that good energy, dear love. And this is Archangel Ezekiel. So I'm grateful that, you know, we receive this balanced energy. It tells me that this week is going to be balanced, that we will receive some unexpected good news. And by Sunday, by September 10th, we all can expect some information. Okay, some type of information of some sort, whether it be a... I just I feel like it's a career move. I feel like it's a business move too. So the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. This is you guys waiting for a perfect timing. Dear love, be patient. Manifestation is key. Letting go of that control issue. Control is the essence of fear. And when we have fear, dear love, we cannot manifest. Okay? So remember that. Now, when it comes to health, okay, I want to talk about our health. When it comes to health, it is good that we are mentally focused, emotionally focused, that we are tapped and tuned into our chakras, that we are paying attention to the different transformations of our body, paying attention to how we feel physically, right? So some of us may have minor colds or we may be feeling... Um, I just heard like knee issues, knee issues, or maybe your ankle is hurting some of you. I also heard carpal tunnel. Some of you are going through this carpal tunnel issue. <clears throat> um, and I feel like, again, some of you are just working overtime, okay? And with this Pisces energy here, because it is so emotional, we're not really paying attention to our body. And so this week is calling us for us to... Not just reflect on our career or our love life or our personal life or our children, but it's asking us to pay attention to our health, okay? Eating better, drinking more water, exercising daily and regularly, um, bringing in a new exercise routine, maybe going to the gym every Thursday, or maybe we will go running for a mile or two before we head to work in the morning. I just feel like some of us are making some type of shifts or changes when it comes to our health. So thank you, universe, for that as well. Now, also, when it comes to this mental health, though, right, remember that the more we hold on to baggage, the more stressed out we're going to be. The more angry we become, the more uh, frustrated we become, the more, um, and I feel like I'm talking to my water signs again, because a lot of you tend to hold in a lot. And it's hard for you at times to let things go, especially my Scorpios. You guys are very stubborn. And Cancers, you, I mean, forget it, right? Like, you guys will hold a grudge for, like, till death do you part, right? But you have to remember that love is key this month, dear love. Love is key. You have to choose love over hate. Forgive. Move on. Don't be ashamed to say that I'm sorry. I was wrong. Please forgive me. It's okay to be vulnerable because that makes people want to be around you. That makes people love you. That makes people want to, you know, be friends with you again. Or maybe possibly invite you back into their home. And just open up the doors for new opportunities. So give your cares and your worries, dear love, to your angels. And allow your angels to take your burdens. This is not the time to fret or to be frustrated over anything. This is a time of clarity, of peace, of understanding. So I want to thank the universe for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because that is exactly what they just was, gave us, basically. And so, wait a minute. So I have to say this to you guys because I honestly was about to leave this card sitting here and I didn't <laughs> talk about it. But I'm going to talk about it, so I'm sorry, okay? Guys, when it comes to our relationships, our love focus, remember that it's so easy to point the finger. It is so easy to say, well, you said, you did, it's your fault, you made me, or it's your fault, you're the reason why I. Like, it's so easy to point the finger and point the blame. Thank you, dear love. 
it is so easy to not want to be with a person because they differ from my usual expectations. Well, dear love, the key is this. We cannot, we have to remember that no one is perfect. And I feel like a lot of us want perfection. We want what we are not even able to provide. And that is not fair. That is not fair in love. Why should we seek per perfection when we are not perfect? A lot of you are with this twin flame, dear love, and you can't stand this person because they are just like you. Mm-hmm. Some of you are with this soulmate, dear love, and I feel like they just make you feel all bubbly inside. But then it's like when you guys fight, it hurts so much because you don't like feeling that way. Now, I do see a lot of dis disagreements over over religious views, over religious factors, over traditions or beliefs of some sort. Like, I feel like a lot of us are disagreeing because of our traditional beliefs. Like, we have a certain way we want our lady to be. We have a certain way that we would like our husband to be. And the reality is we are all individuals. We are all unique and we are all different. So you cannot, we have to remember that just because they are different doesn't mean that they're a bad person. It doesn't mean that they're not good to us, that they can't be good to us. We have to be willing to give people a chance. So, dear love, I want to say this to you. I want to do a meditation piece with you. In seeking and finding joy, you not only find perfect alignment with your inner being, right, and with who you really are, but you also find vibrational alignment with all things that you desire. When joy is really important to you, you will not allow yourself to focus upon things that do not feel good. So talking about releasing that toxic energy, I mean, it is definitely time, okay, to Focus. Like I said, with this Pisces full moon energy here, I feel like I am feel compelled to talk to you guys today. We have to let it go. We have to breathe, stress, shake, and woo-saw. Okay? It is time to let it go. That toxic energy, that relationship, that relationship where it's good today, tomorrow you're crying, Wednesday you're happy, Thursday you're ready to pack your shit. Like, that type of energy is what needs to go. Okay? That, um... I don't want to be without you type of love where you're like too possessive and you're controlling and abusive and you're putting your hands on people. That energy needs to go. Okay? Love is beautiful. Unconditional love is beautiful. That I can't breathe without you love is beautiful. However, when you take it upon yourself to put your hands on someone, to mistreat someone, to disrespect someone, to cheat on someone, to betray someone, to lie to someone... Dear love, you're opening the doors for so much more negativity. Why are you doing it? And I don't know who exactly I'm talking to, but it needs to be said. Okay? Some of you are speaking about things to your spouse. that, And I feel like it's things that you don't really want. And some of you are planning this pregnancy, right? Some of you are planning this pregnancy, but you keep threatening to leave this person. That's not good. I mean, that's not cool, and it's, it's a bit bipolar. It's not right. So, you know, a lot of you are saying, I love you, come spend time with me, but then you're like, oh, I don't want to see you today. Like, that's not nice. That's not nice. It's not nice. We all deserve love, and we deserve honesty, and we deserve loyalty, and we deserve to be with someone who trusts us, who loves us unconditionally, who will care for us, who will continue to uplift us, who will support us, okay? So we have to remember not to be so cold-hearted, not to be so distant all the time. Again, this is a week to focus on compassion instead of judgment, focusing on love instead of hate, forgiveness instead of resentment or regret. So when joy is really important to you, like I said, you will not allow yourself to focus upon things that do not feel good. And the results of thinking only thoughts that feel good will then cause you to create a wonderful life filled with all the things that you desire. So 
You can deliberately reach for joyous thoughts. You can say, you know what? I choose not to be upset today. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's a storm coming. But guess what? Look at the bright side. I get to cuddle with the ones that I love, right? Or me and my family, we get to all make popcorn together and cuddle up and watch Netflix. Like, I mean, look at the positive of it all, right? I may not have a spouse, but I have family. I may not have an extended amount of family, but I have great friends, right? So, or and even if you don't have a lot of friends, I may not have friends, but you know what? I have God. I have the universe. I have people that love me when I go to work. People are calling me. They are supporting me. So, I feel like this is the vibration of gratitude, being grateful, being humble, um, appreciating what the universe is blessing us with, okay? So, dear love, I pray to the universe that we will have a beautiful day and have such an amazing week that love, okay, the doors of love begin to open up for us for new beginnings, new conversations, new, you know, a new season of love is what I'm hoping for, okay? And I pray that everything works out for all of us, no matter if you're single, going through a divorce, going through separation, no matter if you're married or if you're getting married. This energy is beautiful if you let it be, dear love, okay? Heal those unwanted thoughts. Heal anything that is unbalanced, okay? Last night I'm talking about things being unbalanced. Today I'm talking about things being balanced. So, dear love, we have to focus on that. We have to remember that love is key. Balance is key. Prioritizing. Recognize what we have at home. Okay? So, I love you guys, but I really have to go. I hope that everyone have a great day, a great week. If you guys need me, I'm here. Don't forget it. G1insights.org is at the corner of this video. If it's not, then it's definitely at the bottom. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tell all your friends because everyone needs to see this. This is for all 12 signs. It doesn't matter where you are in this beautiful universe. This is for you, dear love. So I love you. Bye, guys.